All right, guys, ladies and gents, um, Dale, Crash King RC, uh, went out today with my wife. Uh, wasn't expecting this, but uh, bought me a couple things. Uh, she put the money up already uh, before I got fired and uh, was supposed to be uh, my Christmas present, I guess, so to speak. Uh, didn't want to do it, but you know what? She's uh, phenomenal to me. So, uh, this is one thing that I got. Um, I got it from Pit Row Hobbies down in Kenwood Mall. Um, anybody in the southern Ohio region, he's a daggone good guy. Right off 71 in Mont Montgomery Road. But, uh, cut me a heck of a deal on what I bought today, so... Um, but he's always good to me. I go there a lot. But this is it. It is the uh, ready-to-fly version of the Horizon Hobby S230S uh, V2 helicopter. Um, sweet, sweet-looking copter. Did a lot of talking um, down there to him. And this is the one he suggested, for, especially for a beginner. So, this is it. The box blade looks like an instruction manual thick enough to knock somebody out with I'll have to read a bunch of that but I want to get this charged up and maybe fly it tomorrow so oh well, that doesn't hold in here the tightest but that's fine there's the copter All right, I uh, figured I'd just get the box out of the way. Nobody really cares about the box. I know I don't. I'm pretty excited about everything else. Uh, something I was just looking at, noticing the uh, charger. Um, crazy little adapter on it, but it has the actual prong to go. Uh, I'm not sure if maybe this is for a different um, type of outlet Let's go on this or whatever, but uh, got your wall charger. Uh, pretty cool. Has a separate little charger um, for hooking up the battery. So, just like the airplane I have, has a little charger for the battery, uh, automotive batteries. Um, then here, the battery, quick port. That is a 3S, 11, 11.1, 800 milliamps. So, we'll see how long this lasts. Uh, a couple little Farts in here, a tool, some two-sided stickies, zip ties, nothing killer serious, but does come with the batteries for the controller. Um, pretty well ready to fly when you pull it out of the box, charge the battery. Uh, Spectrum radio, I did read that all the electronics are Spectrum. Um, pretty wicked in my opinion, because Spectrum is a pretty daggone good brand. A very very heavy feeling remote um, obviously uh, that is the copter itself uh, my opinion pretty wicked um, I've seen a lot of videos on these they will actually scoot it's a very sharp looking copter we got it because my grandbaby will love the orange and she loves to spot helicopters or airplanes but, uh, sorry, not uh, on the lines of the uh, trucks and stuff, but uh, it is a helicopter, but it is RC, so I'm going to try to have a blast with this. Uh, first real good helicopter. I have another one, but if you sneeze outside when you're flying, it'll crash. Uh, they lied to me and told me it would run 15, up to 15 mile hour winds. Uh, something else that uh, was bought at the same time, and again, thanks to Pit Row Hobbies, uh, he cut me a heck of a deal on this dude. And I mean a heck of a deal. I was crazy if I passed it up. So, um, this is the, uh, a, uh, the SCX-10 2 version, but this is the Raw Builders Kit. Um, I love doing the builds. 
Aaron, I'm gonna get this sucker built. <laughs> and uh maybe post a little video on it. But uh like I said guys, pretty stoked. Um can't wait to get to get to start building on this. I haven't even broke the seal yet. Ah, what the heck? <clears throat> but let's see if I can cut myself dragging a knife toward me. Oh goodness! It looks like all the links. Some bull horns. <laughs> Literally, I don't know if this thing will focus good enough, but too much of a glare. There is literally what looks like little bull, horn, bull horns. Transmission, all steel gears. Nice. Looks like the bags are pretty organized. Um, everything's lettered and numbered. There's most of the plastics. I do like the fact it's got running boards on these. Steel frames. And of course some stickers and all that good stuff. So, oh yeah. Awesome. But, don't know how soon I'll get to start on this. Uh, Christmas is right around the corner here. So, can't wait on it though. I've been wanting that CX-10 too. I wanted to do the kit version of the Cherokee. But I didn't quite have the money to get that. And this will be more of an opportunity to put the body I want. And I do not like the all-terrain tires. The BF Goodrich ATs. Um, for desert sand and all that, I'm sure they're wonderful, but for a high clay, they ain't worth a hoot in real life, so I don't care for them in scale life. But there it is, guys. Uh, you know, it's for me, it's for my awesome wife. Um, but I'm gonna try to get these built for you and see what I can do. Uh, anybody watched? Thanks, like, click, subscribe, comment. I love answering comments, and uh, I enjoy just talking to the guys and gals out there who are into the RCs. Um, but, uh, again, thanks for watching. Um, enjoy. Hope to get some videos of this thing in the air. And uh, pray to God I don't crash it. <laughs> but thanks for watching.